Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. When you are ready to begin a mail merge, you can use the task pane to walk through the process one step at a time. To do this, just change the task pane's drop down menu to Email Merge, Mail Merge, or Catalog Merge as desired. Now at the bottom of the task pane, there'll be a link to move on to the next step or go to the previous step, and this will just step you through the process. Under the Create Recipient List section in the first pane, you can choose to select from an existing list, select from your Microsoft Outlook Contacts folder, or create a new list. So if we choose Use an Existing List to select from a data source we've already created, when you click the next hyperlink, that will open the Select Data Source dialog box. Here you can navigate to your data source. Select the data source that you would like to use and click the Open button. That will then launch the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box where you can select or deselect which records within the data source you would like to include in the Mail Merge. By default, all records will be selected. Once you've selected which records to include, click the OK button. Now your data source will be attached to your publication and you can click into the text box or if you have placeholder text, select the text that you would like to replace. You can then choose which fields you would like to insert into the selected area. If you're creating a mailing label or envelope, you can then click the Address Block option in the task pane as it will automatically insert the necessary address fields and put them in the correct order with the desired punctuation and spacing included. Now if you wanted to insert other fields from your data source, you can just click on the field you would like to insert within the scrolling list shown in the task pane. However, this method of inserting fields requires you to manually insert the spaces and punctuation as well. Now once you've inserted all of the necessary fields, you can click the link at the bottom of the task pane that says Next, Create Merged Publication to move on to the next step. Here you can click the Print button to print your merged publication. You could click Print Preview to see what your publication would look like. You could choose Merge to a new publication in order to put the merged pages into a new publication or you could click Add to Existing Publication to add the merged pages to the end of a publication that already exists. So here's the print preview. Thank you! We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!